okay now let's look at another example here you will learn something more <coughs> It is given to you the sequence 0356, 0356, 0356. This is what you have to design in from synchronous counter using T flip flop. You have to check whether the counter is self starting or not. So here you can see the mod value less than equal to 2 to the power n will fail because you have only four states. Only four states. So more mod value will be four. So you can say n value of two will be fine. Because that will be uh, that will satisfy the equation, so n value two will satisfy it. So, but you can't you can't express five or six with two bits, no. So that is why this formula fails here. This formula works for asynchronous type of um, uh, counter mostly, and for some counters of synchronous, but uh, not always. Okay, for asynchronous it is fine; it will work always. But for synchronous it won't. For synchronous, you have to see the maximum count as well. Okay, this will work for some cases, but not for all. Okay, uh, but this technique will work in all the cases of synchronous counter. Just look at the maximum guy. What is the maximum guy? Six, and how many bits will be required to represent six? So that's the maximum count in my sequence. So maximum bits required to represent six is three. Two to the power three will be. means uh, you 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 need to have three flip flops that's what i'm trying to say okay because it needs three uh, bits a minimum to be uh, to 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 be represented okay so three flip flops will be required now your sequence is transition diagram is 0356 0356 these are used state 1 2 4 7 is your unused state okay these two lines means it is states now third step is uh, to to um, make the excitation table of the required flip flop so you have t flip flop you have three such of them so three states are there q2 q1 q0 and its next state q2 q1 q0 plus and then their inputs so what are the sequences 0 then 3 so 0 0 0 then 3 then 3 to 5 5 to 6 then 6 to 0 these are the state rest of the inputs will be don't care it will come in don't care and you can see corresponding inputs i have done so same so zero different one same zero different one similarly different one different one different one different one similarly last you will see different one same zero different one same zero okay now make the key map for each of them t2 t1 t0 you can see here here and here so you can see i have marked the crosses from black they are don't care inputs which are not there four of them are there so these are marked the cross here you can see on all three of them then what i have done is uh, i have marked the zeros with the dots you can see here two dots are there okay these guys and these guys and this guy is having all ones so ones are there ones are there ones are there then you will make the pairing so this pair you can see here So that will give you t2 is equal to q1, right? Make a pair of four. Then this is the pair of eight. So it will be one. T1 is equal to one. And here the pair of four is this. So it will become q1 bar. So you can see t2 is q1, t1 is one, and t0 is q1 bar. Okay. So let me uh, make the circuit now and uh, show you whether it is self starting or not. Okay. Now let's look at uh, the self starting part. Uh, so I have designed the circuit here. T two was Q one, T one is one, T zero is Q bar, Q one bar. So here you can see this is T two is Q one, T one is one, and this is Q one bar, right? So uh, this is the circuit which will count zero three five six, then zero three five six zero three five six. Now let's look at the self starting part. We have to check whether it is self starting or not. Now you can see that. what we have to do for self starting case we have to check for the unused state take it as initial state these guys and look for what are the next state whether uh, it is coming out of these unused state or not if it is coming out of uh, unused states after few clock cycles means coming to these states then it is fine if it is not then it's a problem see here the problem occurs this occurs if i'll take 001 this guy as your initial state and i am looking for what will be the next state then you have to look for the input right so what are the values this is q1 1 and q1 bar 
so q1 is 0 uh, then this is 1 and t0 is q1 bar so bar of this guy <coughs> so it will become 0 1 1 input if the input is 0 1 1 means what will be the the uh, next state so since the input is 0 this state will be same as this state right next state will be same as present state if the input is 1 present next state will be toggle of present state so toggle similarly one toggle right so for 0 0 1 you are getting 1 0 1 0 so from 1 to 2 it is going right from 1 to 2 it is going then if i take this 2 which is this guy i will calculate the input so q1 1 q1 bar so this is q1 then 1 q1 bar right if the input is 1 1 toggle it so it will become 1 0 and the input is 0 then it is same so it comes out to be 4 then if you will have 4 which is this guy you take this as some as a sequence will come out to be 7 you can see uh, it is uh, q1 then this is 1 and this is q1 bar so if the input is 0 keep it as it is if the input is 1 toggle it then finally if you will have 1 1 1 you will get 0 0 1 which is this so you can see that even if you will have thousands and hundreds of clock pulses it will stay in this loop 1 2 4 7 1 2 4 7 1 2 4 7 when this will happen when let's say you are switching on the counter some noisy spike came and unintentionally your counter went to one of these states again i'm telling you when this situation will occur when some noisy spike comes out or when you are switching on the counter then by by mistake counter went to one of these state and every clock cycle it will produce states within this loop right if let's say by due to noisy spike your counter came to 2 okay next clock cycle it will come to 4 next 7 then 1 2 4 7 1 2 4 7 you keep on running in this loop and that is something you don't want this is called as lockout problem which you don't want because your you you are supposed to make a counter which counts the sequence 0 3 5 6 0 3 5 6 0 3 5 6 but your some some error came or some some uh, environmental conditioner or some switching on or noisy spike came and because of that it went to a state one of this state and it it is stuck there every clock cycle it is not able to come out to this state okay so this is called as lockout problem uh, so what you will say this counter is not self starting okay so this is very important problem you have to check it whether the counter is self starting or not so you will say no the counter is not self starting it has lockout problem means it will be stuck in one uh, unused state all the time okay whatever the how many clock pulse you will give it will count the sequence one two four seven one two four seven what you wanted was if any of the unused state will come after few cycles it should come to this position this sequence but this is what we have seen in the previous example it is not coming out hence you call it as lockout problem so this is a problem so you have to find the solution now what we will do we will design the uh, circuit again design the circuit again now knowing that it is not self starting so we will find the solution of it how you want how you can um, uh, how now how you will make the circuit that is what we will do next okay so now you know that it is not self starting so what you will do the solution we will do the next <coughs> now so let's look design uh, the circuit in such a fashion so that it will not uh, uh, have locked the uh, lockout state and uh, it will be self starting so what changes i did here so our unused state was 1 2 4 7 then 1 2 4 7 1 2 4 7 so i picked the one state let's say 1 and i gave the next state as 0 and i designed the excitation table in this fashion so in the blue part what you are seeing it is same as what you have seen previously so 0 0 0 2 0 1 1 0 2 3 then 3 to 5 5 to 6 6 to 0 
now i am adding a state in black i am saying if the present state is 0 1 that is this guy the next state should be 0 0 0 that is this guy and automatically problem will be solved right if the counter will stuck in this loop 1 2 4 7 1 2 4 7 as soon as it will see 1 it can go to 0 right it will not go to 2 so that is how i am designing so uh, uh, if if the 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 state is 1 it will go only to 0 so that is what this line means 0 0 1 means next state will always be 0 0 0 so if your counter initially has 2 then it will go to 4 then it will go to 7 then it will go to 1 then it will go to 0 if your counter goes to 7 by mistake it goes to 1 then it goes to 0 if your counter goes to 4 by mistake then 4 to 7 7 to 1 1 to 0 it will take more cycles but ultimately it will become a self starting just you have to add one more extra state and it is random you you can also take two here and you can give next state as 5 or 6 or 3 it depends upon you the point is you have to uh, uh, break the loop you have to uh, give a state from this and a next state from this that is what the main thing i took one and a zero so if the present state is one next state should go to zero so it will not go to two now okay so now what will happen so you can see these are the same arrangement here it is uh, since they are same so zero same zero one to zero it is one now right because different it is one now i'll design the uh, the k maps you can see the k max this big dot here represents the values these values so here it is dot means zero here also dot means zero here it is one right rest of the values are same so here you can see the pairing this is one pair so it becomes q1 here also you can see this is one pairing so it becomes q1 bar but here you can see you can't make a pair of eight because of this dot here so what you can do is you can make a pair of four for this guy make a pair for four this guy and for this guy make a pair of like this right so there are three four uh, pair of three pair of fours so this will give you q2 then uh, this will give you q1 and this will give you what q0 bar right this is the difference you can see now right if you will so if you will design it the circuit so this t2 is q1 same and t0 is q1 bar this you have to design it so i'll take this there is should be a or gate or gate and q2 q1 q2 then q1 and q0 bar q0 bar has to come like this right you can imagine so there is one extra so the complexity has been increased but you are able to design a self starting counter now so you modified it and you made the counter now you might think that why didn't you add this state be before hand itself uh, so the answer is we didn't know that whether the counter is self starting or not we can't design it uh, before hand as uh, actually so first you have to check whether the counter is self starting or not if it is not self starting then you modify the circuit okay it is it is uh, extra circuitry because we are using right so beforehand if you will do it your might uh, your counter might have um, not having self starting problem that lockout problem and you are designing it uh, with extra circuit so that is uh, not something required right so the point is the flow is first you make the counter then check whether it is self starting or not if the lockdown prob uh, lockout problem occurs lockdown sorry because of covid so lockout problem occurs then design it in self starting way means it will not self start uh, sorry it will self start now okay there are different ways of making self starting some people use clear uh, some people use clear input as well 
but that will only work when you will have 0 0 0 in your state if it is not uh, there in your sequence then uh, it will fail uh, plus you can also do like for all the states like um, i have done for one then you can also do for 2 4 7 and all the next state given to 0 or 3 5 6 any one that will increase the complexity even more so this i think is the is the optimum solution which will increase the complexity in a slight a slightly higher way but you will be able to achieve your um, uh, achieve your uh, what do you say whatever you want yeah your, your target so this is what self starting thing is and lockout thing is and one more thing we learned is uh, that mod thing uh, mod thing mod is less than equal to 2 to the power and will not work here you have to look at for the maximum count what is the maximum value in the count sequence so depending upon that how many bits are required that you have to write okay so this was one example uh, one good example you should practice uh, so that you have seen the difference uh, between a self starting one and not self starting one okay